Hi, I'm Patu for Free Fin Cal, and in this video, let's look at LNT Emerging Businesses Fund. This is a small cap fund that was launched uh, in May 2014. Um, the AUM of this fund has skyrocketed to about uh, 6,000, 6,000, more than 6,000 crores in just about uh, five years' time. Uh, uh, but its performance has been very decent, and so let's have a look at it. But before we begin, just a quick disclaimer that I'm making this video as an analyst and not as an investor. I do not recommend small cap uh, mutual funds uh, per se because they uh, the risk involved is too great. Um, you can have small caps as part of your portfolio, but uh, uh, please be careful um, uh, to book profits periodically because the profits from small caps can zoom up suddenly and then it can disappear also suddenly. And then for many years, you may not get any returns at all. So you have to safeguard your returns. Uh, I have a, a video on how to book profits periodically from small cap funds. And uh, so have a look at that. Also, please keep in mind that um, uh, small caps, many of the small caps today are glorified mid cap and small cap funds. Uh, I uh, It will be very difficult for them to follow the SEBI rule of 65% small caps at all times. They may not have that much. They have only about 50-55%, rest of it will be, most of it will be mid-cap funds. That is the reason why I believe that a good mid-cap fund uh, with uh, with about 20-30% of small caps is enough for most investors. They don't need uh, a separate small cap fund. So uh, be careful about all these aspects while investing in small cap funds. And I am looking at this uh, video as an analyst and not as an investor. But if you are interested in small cap funds, this is certainly a, not a bad fund to uh, invest in. It has got a good record, uh, which we will uh, look at uh, in this five years. It's a very short history. It's not been tested. Uh, also, um, since uh, January 2008, the small cap indices kept falling, kept falling, kept falling. Uh, only about two or three funds in this space. I think uh, SBI small cap, um, ICICI small cap and uh, Axis small cap is up, up uh, mainly. They are the ones who have been able to stem the flow. Uh, they have not fa fallen a lot. Uh, this fund is more or less kind of an average fund in that sense, uh, at least with respect to the uh, January 2018 fall. So you have to keep all these in mind while uh, investing in this fund. Now it defines emerging businesses as uh, an early stage business that has the potential to grow at a faster rate than established companies. So uh, this, uh, the fund uh, AUM grew so much that uh, uh, I think in, uh, when was this? Uh, this was uh, a couple of maybe a year or so ago, maybe a, um, almost two years ago, the lump, uh, lump sum investments of more than two lakhs were stopped in this fund and uh, then they were reopened earlier this year uh, so that's another problem with small cap space they will stop the uh, inflows and uh, rest restrict it to only sips and so on maybe when they stop the inflows that's probably an indication for you as a small cap investor if you are one to book profits and so on so that's something that you have to keep in mind and also in a small cap fund it makes sense to invest when the market is seriously down that's when the gains will be uh, much better when the uh, cycle changes and so on so but you have to be patient about it so that's uh, for an introduction i want to show you this as a next slide i want to show you this uh, tool that i have this is called this is an image from a tool that i have so this is called um, a fingerprint um, indexing i mean a finger, mutual fund finger, fingerprinting tool uh, sebi registered ra sapnil kande uh, suggested that i make this tool uh, following jim otter who has written a book on retirement planning as i talked about earlier to make this tool so what we do is to take the monthly returns of uh, in this case lnt emerging business and this and its uh, benchmark uh, psc small caps total returns index we take those monthly returns and we separate the monthly returns into four compartments so you hear here you have the, the mon monthly returns of the um, fund uh, greater than that of the market, greater than that of the benchmark. Market here means benchmark. And then you have a category where the fund outperforms the market when the market is going up and underperforms when the market is going down. Uh, so, uh, and uh, this is uh, the diagonally opposite one is the opposite of that. Fund outperforms when the market is down and underperforms when the market is going up. And then this is the fund underperforms market category. So you can see that most funds will fall on this diagonal line here. 
and if you were to compare let's say uh, an index fund uh, uh, and its index all the data points will be centered around this center so that's that's the index fund and this is an actively managed fund will be spread out like this um this is a very good performance so just a few months it has underperformed the market and it has been uh, on the right side so uh, from this uh, this is what i use uh, you can use this uh, this fingerprinting tool this is freely available uh, the link is in the description box or i'll add it here um, you can use this to find the compare the performance of the fund that you are holding so you can uh, it's um, possible to so that is that and also uh, using the free fincal mutual fund screener that was published uh, a couple of days ago uh, you can see that um, there are only about 1009 one year return data points because it's a very short history and almost all of them fund has outperformed uh, over two years three years four years and five years the fund has always of five years is probably comes this the fund has always bet the uh, index it's a very short history and uh, it has got a downside con uh, consistency uh, which is reasonable it is about uh, 60 50 to 60 percent little bit more for longer and so on but downside protection in the small cap space is very easy because all the small cap uh, fund manager has to do is to add 30 percent 40 percent of mid cap then the downside will automatically come with respect to the small cap index so the small cap don't go with smaller downside protection uh, in the small cap funds you provide downside protection by periodically booking profits and re-entering when the market is down. If you are asking me whether it's a good time to invest in the small caps because the small cap uh, indices have gone down. If you are sure you are you are comfortable with the small cap uh, in the small cap space then yes you can because at least that, that is the reason why the funds have uh, opened the uh, uh, some funds have opened reopened uh, investments and stop the uh, remove the restrictions. So uh, that's what I wanted to say in about um, LNT emerging business. Uh, it's a good fund, but it has not been tested. Uh, other than that, I think it's fine. You can consider, uh, you can continue. Uh, 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 the only problem I have with this fund is this AUM. In five years, uh, the AUM has zoomed to 6,000 plus, and that's the fastest growth in this space. In, in the whole of small cap space, this is the biggest problem. But uh, if you have too low AUM also, small cap space is a problem because when the market drops, then it's, it could be a problem if people uh, start pulling out, then it will be a now will be higher and so on. So uh, now will fall low, uh, the fall in the now will be higher and so on. So that is also a problem. But okay, a few thousands here and there is all right. But uh, this, the growth in the AUM is the problem. It's not that 6,000, if that 6,000 had been acquired over 10 years, it's not a problem. But 6,000 over 5 years is like too much money flowing in. The fund manager cannot find uh, uh, stocks in this uh, in this market. See, please recognize, you as, a, as an investor finding small caps is different from the fund manager find, uh, finding small caps. Because you as an investor will probably have a few thousands to few lakhs at best to typically invest, right? Uh, if you have more, you will probably get a professional to do it. Uh, but the fund manager has to deploy tens of hundreds of crores and uh, in this space the um, uh, the buy uh, the, what, do you, what do you call the uh, the spread between the buy price and the, the bid spread uh, what, what do you call it I forget this name uh, in, I mean um, when you the, the buying price and the selling price for large comp uh, um, uh, volumes of stock in the small cap space will be very very differ very very huge there will be a lot of uh, money lost the fund manager tries to buy and sell and so on what is it called bid spread forget this name ah, there's a name there's a, uh, there's a there's a there's a there's a ratio for i forgot i'll try to include the link here <laughs> these names i keep forgetting so uh, that's a problem uh, that's why the people say i it's very difficult to find opportunities in the uh, small cap space even the top 100 stocks of the nsc the last few stocks are not liquid enough it's very difficult to buy and sell large volumes of them that is the problem in the Indian market. So you'll be very, 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 very careful uh, in this space. Don't chase. If you are going to chase after returns, book profits and enter in dips. Uh, Re-enter in dips. That's what I mean. Not just, not, I mean, don't keep the funds in the, you know, don't keep your units in, and, and uh, just buy more on dip. That won't work. You have to pull out the profits and come back again. That's when, that's when you can. Uh, protect the gains and reduce risk in the portfolio. So, uh, other than the fast AUM, this fund has done well. So, if you are existing investor, keep an eye out. 
New investors can also choose this, but also be a, be a little wary about this because when the small when the market is down, people will not buy this fund. That's when you should buy the fund, but they will not buy. When the market has moved up, after it has moved up, everybody will come and enter the AUM will increase. Actually. So that's it. So you have to be careful. And when that happens, it's probably time for you to pull out. So when you are if you are ready to play this game, then get a, go right ahead and enter in the small cap space. And this is not a bad fund at all. It's not a it's not a stellar fund. It's not. A, in terms of the, in this kind of a last few years performance, this is not the best fund in the space, but it's also nef definitely not the worst. And that's okay. That kind of funds are okay to pick because if you're choosing the best funds, then the only place it's likely to go is down. So it's better to be in the medium, uh, mediocre, not mediocre, medium or average kind of funds uh, in the uh, average category, uh, in the middle of the category. So I'll catch you again later. Bye-bye.